Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris. The stories that we read in the Bible, God did not just put them there so that we can have a good read. They do serve a purpose. There are spiritual insights that you get from these stories. There is knowledge and even understanding that is woven within these stories and even these narratives. We also do get divine revelation from these stories. We do get kingdom principles and laws that are hidden within these stories. From a spiritual perspective, these stories are a well of wisdom that we can glean from. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 25 tells the story of a lady called Abihail. The Bible says that she was the wife of a man called Nabal, but then she ended up becoming the wife of King David upon the death of her husband of course before we get into this word let us pray father i thank you i bless you i glorify your name lord thank you for this opportunity to share your word i pray that this word is going to be a blessing and encouragement and a revelation anoint your word lord as i release it and i do pray that whoever is going to hear this word lord they shall hear that which you're saying in this hour in jesus name i pray amen you cannot hide and you cannot be hidden that is what the lord ministered to me through this this passage of scripture through this story of abigail abigail is is one of the many prophetic women in the Bible that God used for his divine purposes. Like many women in the Bible, Abihail is described as being beautiful. But unlike many women in scripture, the Bible is very categorical in pointing out her intelligence. She is described as being of good understanding. Her name means my father's happiness or my father's joy. Her husband's name, on the other hand, means means foolish or senseless. In fact, the description that the Bible gives of this man is not good at all. The Bible says that he was a wealthy man. But apart from that, <coughs> he is portrayed as being arrogant, prideful, a drunkard and abusive. Living with someone like that really needs grace from God. Abihail was beautiful. She was intelligent. She was gifted. She was anointed. But all this was not visible just because of the arrogance of her husband. Whatever was, was hiding you, be it spiritual, be it physical, will have to give way so that you can, you can be seen so that what God put in you is visible. Your gifting cannot be hidden anymore. The anointing in your life cannot be hidden anymore. The calling, the assignment, it cannot be hidden anymore. Whatever it is that has been hiding you it cannot hide you anymore even if you yourself you have been hiding yourself you have been hiding the gifting that the lord put in you the calling the assignment the in the wisdom that the lord put in you you are not gonna be able to you cannot be hidden and you yourself you cannot hide the beauty the intelligence the wisdom the gifting the anointing name it that the Lord put in your life is going to be manifest. There is an opportune time that is coming upon you that is going to force you to be revealed to those in high places. You see, what happened with Habigai was orchestrated by God. She did not intentionally choose to be revealed. Circumstances forced her to come forward. She did not intentionally bring herself out to showcase her wisdom to showcase her intelligence her, the favor of god in her life the, the the giftings that was in her god orchestrated a situation that forced abigail to come forward and that is what is going to happen with you there are some of you you are not you are you you are not hidden by anything or anybody but it is you yourself that you have been hiding you have been hiding what god put in you there is an opportune time that is coming upon you that is gonna force you to come forward the book of first samuel chapter 25 and verses 8 it says like this ask your young men and they will tell you therefore let my young men find favor in your eyes for we come on a feast day 
please give whatever comes to your hand to your servants and to your son David. Now this was a request that David sent to Nabal and see how he answers back. Verse 10 and 11. Then Nabal answers David's servants and says, Who is David and who is the son of Jesse? There are many servants nowadays who break away, each one from his master. Shall I then take my bread and water and meat that I have killed for my shearers and give it to men when I do not know where they are from? The pride and arrogance of this man is seen clearly in this passage of scripture. Nabal's actions angered David so bad he prepared a slaughter. He was going to make sure that no male in Nabal's house was going to be spared. And this is where Abigail's intelligence, this is where Abigail's wisdom and bravery manifests. David was a king. David was not just any uh, anybody. It needed courage to confront David and his servants, especially after what just happened, after how her husband despised the king. It really took courage on her part. It also required that she goes against her husband's wishes. Considering the culture of the day, this was suicidal. She was trading on a very thin line. She was trading on a delicate situation. The best of her became manifest at a time of crisis. Everything that God put inside of her became visible in how she conducted herself, how she, how she handled the whole situation, the humility that she displayed, her diplomatic approach made an impression to David. Now listen, what God put in you cannot be hidden. What God put in you, you cannot hide it. What may appear as a crisis in your life is just God orchestrating a situation to bring you to the forefront, to be visible to your destiny helpers and to your divine connections. You cannot be hidden and you cannot hide yourself. That situation is going to force you to come forward the situation forced Abigail to come forward and plead for her husband and all the men in her household. Her character stood out. Your character is going to stand out. The wisdom, the intelligence that God has been building inside of you, it's going to break forth. It's going to come out at a time when you least expect. The book of First Samuel chapter 25 verses 32 and 33, it reads like this. Is this is actually David's response to Abigail after she prophesied to him. Yes, Abigail did prophesy to David. Please do read the whole story. It reads like this. Then David said to Abigail, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel who sent you this day to meet me. And blessed is your advice. And blessed are you because you have kept me this day from coming to bloodshed and from avenging myself with my own hands. Abigail's character must have made quite an impression on David because he did not waste time in marriage, asking a hand for marriage immediately. Nabal, her husband, died. Now listen carefully. The wisdom that God put in you, the gifting that God put in you, the anointing upon your life cannot be hidden and you cannot hide it, even you yourself. Some of you, you have been hiding for too long, maybe because of insecurities or fear or circumstance, but you cannot hide anymore. God is going to force you out of that place of hiddenness because what he seated in you has to mature no what god seeded in you has already matured and needs to be manifest your gifting is needed the wisdom that god put in you is needed the calling the assignment it is needed out there and you cannot keep on hiding 
I hear this very heavy in my spirit. There are some of you, it is not a situation, it is not a person, it is not a circumstance that has been hiding you. It is you yourself that you have been hiding out of fear, out of insecurities. But God is going to orchestrate a situation that is going to force you to come forward. And when you come forward, the best in you is going to manifest. You are not even going to see it coming. It is just going to happen because it is being divinely orchestrated by God. You cannot hide. There is nothing that can keep you in hiddenness. You cannot hide yourself and there is nothing that can hide you. Everything that is in you, that beauty needs to be seen. That intelligence, that wisdom needs to be seen. The, the calling, the assignment needs to be seen. You are going to be visible. May the Lord abundantly bless you. I love you so, so much. But the Lord, he loves you so much more. He loves you with an everlasting love. And there is nothing that can separate you from his love, which is in Christ Jesus. And please know that I do appreciate you for everything. I welcome my all new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for liking, sharing. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you so much for your emails. And for all of you who are always sending me your prayer requests, please know that I am praying for you and I am standing with you in prayer. God bless you and shalom.